According to the 2019 World Happiness Report, they said that negative feelings are on the rise globally. Everybody is in pursuit of happiness. Um, people are looking for happiness and this for some reason has been interfered with, with a couple of forces, could be government, conflict, social norms, and etc, etc. But today we'd like to understand what exactly is ultimate happiness? What is the pathway to ultimate happiness? Is it a habit that we need to have? Is it an attitude that we need to acquire? Um, is it a lifestyle that we need to walk in? What exactly determines ultimate happiness? Welcome to this discussion right here on Sitam Church Online Youth Cafe. My name is Linda Moniki. Not too long ago, I was having a conversation with a lady who I had just met and uh, we were basically getting to know each other. She was getting to know who I was, I was getting to know her and um, she asked me what made me want to do full-time ministry. Uh, what made me not want to work in the corporate uh, field, but basically do full-time ministry for a better part of my life. And I shared with her and told her that having to do full-time ministry for me as an individual gives me so much fulfillment. It gives me a lot of joy. It gives me a lot of happiness. And she was very intrigued. She was moved and she said, wow, that's, that's, that's amazing. That's quite amazing. And having to share with you guys at the beginning of this video letting you know that according to the 2019 world happiness uh, report very many people are in their pursuit of happiness but at the same time negative feelings are still rising so everybody we have an understanding that everyone wants to pursue happiness and many a times you find that happiness has been defined as you having to be confident you having to be courageous uh, that is what is going to give you uh, ultimate happiness and we also find that in other sectors in other norms technology uh, social norms, uh, government uh, policies or, or conflicts has happened in one way or another to satisfy people and to give them ultimate happiness. But it's amazing what scripture has to reveal unto us. It's amazing when Jesus Christ, as he was talking to his disciples in Matthew chapter 5 from verse 3 to 10, he helps them understand the pathway to ultimate happiness. And this we'll be looking at from the book of Matthew chapter 3 from verse 10. In verse 3, Jesus begins to open this part of scripture by helping, men and helping them understand that blessed, which means spiritually prosperous, happy to be admired, are the poor in spirit. And he defines the poor in spirit as those who are devoid of spiritual arrogance and those who regard themselves as insignificant. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven both now and forevermore. Now, Many versions tend to uh, describe the word blessed as happy also because blessed in Latin means uh, beatus and beatus means happy. So you'll find some versions of the Bible will say happy are those who are pure, poor in spirit. And having to understand this word happiness and poor in spirit, poor in spirit here is where Jesus is trying to tell his disciples that your greatest form of confidence, your greatest form of joy, your greatest form of bravery or courageousness comes from having to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Having to empty yourself and that which you call your own deep inside you from the deepest part of your soul and giving it to Jesus, surrendering it to Jesus, surrendering it to God and allowing the Holy Spirit to now fill you in with what he calls his confidence. Now fill you in with what is called bravery, with what is called courageousness. And having not to um, grasp to the things of this world, grasping onto wealth, grasping onto riches, you know, grasping onto um, what may probably define for us as happiness, technology, social norms, I had, as I had shared with you guys earlier on. But having to understand that ultimate happiness, that is being poor in spirit, comes from knowing Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, emptying him, emptying yourself before him and allowing his spirit to fill you in with what perfectly defines who God is. This is one of the pursuits to ultimate happiness. 
We'll be looking at more of this in the next couple of weeks and seeing how being poor in spirit could build up to being merciful, could build up to being meek, builds up to being hungry and thirsting for the righteousness of God. All these things, we'll be looking at them in the next couple of weeks right here on Seatown Church Online. I encourage you to keep it locked here and to... Uh, I uh, look forward to the videos as we generate more of this content to each and every one of you. Once again, thank you so much for watching and God bless you.